So first thing first, the travel means uh, trains and buses are available. Trains are expensive but faster. However, bus journey costs you less, more time, and more beautiful sceneries. But for bus travel, we have a uh, you know or Uno depends on who you are, like Gif or Jeff. So and then we have Arriva, then Tiger Mouth, etc. So as Uno has some quite acquaintances with the university, mostly you will get discounts and free travel between Hertfordshire campuses if you are going or if you are getting the Uno bus. And I am heading to uni from Luton today, and it would cost me nine point five pounds with returns, but with student ID, I got it just for like six point three pounds. and one day of university is on travel so the students going to the college line campus they will not be confused about the uh, bus stop bus station because it's in the university but uh, i could see students get panicked when they miss their de havilland bus stop i'm just quoting it if you missed your de havilland bus stop then don't worry you can always get down at the comet road and also at uh the gallery and then you can walk back to the uni and this is hutton hub so this is where you have your bus stop and then from hutton hub you will be going into the student center you will be getting your brp or id card your career services your part time job everything for students are located in this area So this is the kiosk to collect your BRP and your anything from university. So in order to collect your BRP card, you should request it prior to coming to the uni and get an appointment number. Then log in with your student ID and your date of birth, and then you will be receiving a receipt. And with a receipt, you will be going into the student support center, and then they will give you your ID card and your BRP. And one more thing to quote. If you missed your ID card and you cannot actually go to the class or do anything, so don't worry about it. What you can do best is uh, you can use the Ask Hertz app and you can scan from the app directly, or otherwise you can go to the student support center where you have gone to collect your BRP and ID card for the first time and ask them to issue a new ID card, which will cost you around ten pounds, and then you will be receiving a new ID card. So in order to view your timetables you can go to studynet.ac.uk and log in with your student ID and your password then move to the desktop view and under the timetables you can view your scheduled classes and to make it let simple subscribe to your calendar and add them to your Google calendar or your i calendar so then you will have a view like this So as you can see this is my scheduled classes and I have online and offline classes and for offline classes I have to go to the uni and here you can see I have one classes D450 Hutton College line and I'll show you how can you go there if you're alone and if it's your first time you are not alone on this so maps are there everywhere but uh, just understand the building name and mine was D450 so I'm going to the D corridor right now and i am checking for the day 450 and i am there attending my class oh my god and next to hutton hub we have a pub for students and then we have a restaurant area and large cafeteria and then we have subway starbucks and a university dine-in so weekly there will be have food festivals by the university students and helpers 
so you can go get some nice yummy multi cuisine food from this university cafeteria and trust me these foods are cheaper most important thing the washrooms especially for girls if you are alone and you are in a hurry always remember that we have one in uh, hutton hub and which is next to the cafeteria and just next to the premier all right so bear in mind This is the film music and media building and I've never been to this building before but for taking videos I just got in and this looks amazing Next, I'll show you the science building and where the library is. So, if you take a straight walk from the um, the film, music, and media building, and if you're going straight, you can see the Sustainable Energy Technology Center, and then left to it, you can see the science building, and that is our library, which is Learning Research Center, and this is our university accommodation. So, this is a very large area, and I. I don't think I can shoot all of this but this university accommodation is around 50 to 60 buildings almost yep and this is the main entrance of the library and as you know ID card is mandatory for any kind of access and you just need to tap it to get into the library An interesting thing is we have five pounds preloaded on our ID card for printing purposes. And how to use the services. So you can see uh, there are the normal print options and just click on the college lane printer option from there. Now we can see the print option is already scheduled. And now you have to do is go to the printer and tap your ID card. Now you will be seeing a screen like this and enter the page number how many copies do you need and things like that and print that's it well you can see the searching systems inside the library so type in which book you need and then log in with your student id and your password and you can see the books and the shelf where it is located as you can see i need to go to shelf number 174 and 915 and there I have to search for my book. Well, University of Hertfordshire has a big and beautiful library open 24 by 7 on both the campuses. Offers study materials and computer stations with 1100 PCs and Macs and a technology suite. So you can collect books mentioned by your module leader for assignments and other Coursebooks or somewhat, somewhat note. And I love to get lost in between these books. It's so interesting. And I found some interesting topics about space time theories, dark matter, time travel, astrology 
cryptography and network security coding skills etc so you will never be bored when you get into the library and as well as we have a sleeping spot inside the library come on guys the uni knows us The uni gives a lot of support to the students in such a way that they provide laptop loans and PC loans. So the laptop loans you can go to the library and take a laptop for like one day and you have to return the laptop within 24 hours. But however, if you are struggling to buy a computer or a a laptop, then you can use the services like a PC loan from the university. To do that go to ask hertz and type in long term pc loan and it will redirect you to a page where you can raise a help request and give all the details and don't be so lazy about it give the correct model number which you need how much ram you expect and all other details and a valid reason and the uni helps i've got one in my room with 32 inch screen with 8 gb ram and i think it's i5 third gen so about 500 gb hdd i think believe me it's a free beast i miss the main reception well it is the film theater and the media building and from there you can take a straight walk to hutton hub where you can see the pub and subway and the cafeteria as well as the bus station to go back And I believe I I've, I've been faithful saying all about my uni. So if you have got any doubt just comment in the comments below. And that's it for today. We'll see you in the next video and until then.